How is Whale Sync different from Zapier? So funny enough, we actually get this question a lot from prospective users. And it always makes us laugh because Whale Sync is actually something we see as a complement to Zapier. Um, in fact, we actually use Zapier. We are customers of Zapier over at Whale Sync. So in this video, we'll break down exactly how Whale Sync and Zapier differ so you can know when to choose the right tool for you. To understand the difference between whale sync and Zapier, you're first gonna to wanna to understand the difference between syncing and automation. Zapier is what we call an automation tool. It lets you set up step-by-step -step workflows that automate your work. For example, here's an actual Zap we use at whale sync that says, when a form is submitted on Webflow, add a contact from that form submission to our newsletter, and then create an item in our Notion database where we track all of our users. Right? This is a step-by-step -step flow that automates things that we'd otherwise have to do manually. Whale Sync is a data syncing tool. So it lets you deeply and bi-directionally connect data in two different tools. So you can basically say, I wanna share the data that's in one app with another app. And whenever the data gets updated in one, update it in the other. And so this is an example of a Whale Sync sync that I've set up between HubSpot and Postgres where I'm saying all of my contacts that are in HubSpot, I want to two-way sync them with contacts in Postgres. And whenever one side gets updated in the email, first name or last name fields, sync it to the other. Zapier and other automation tools like Make or N8N are great in places where you want to build your own step-by-step -step logic to automate your work. These tools give you super flexible building blocks that you can use to do basically whatever you want. It's not uncommon with a tool like Zapier to see 20, 30, even 40 step zaps where things are automated across all these different tools with many different flows and types of logic. Whale Sync, on the other hand, is great when you're not trying to build your own automations or own logic, but simply want to keep two sets of data in sync. Or put another way, you want two different apps to share the same set of data. So again, this is really nifty when you think about certain CRM use cases, right? When you want to sync, let's say Salesforce, HubSpot, Pipedrive, any of these tools with your other apps where you have contacts or deals. But essentially, you want to just share that info with another app. It also comes in handy when you're trying to do anything bi-directional, right? If you're trying to two-way sync a set of tools, technically you can try to do that in something like Zapier, but you'll quickly run into issues around things like foreign key handling, or really just the fragility of trying to build 20 or 30 steps apps for data syncing. So in summary, Whale Sync and Zapier are both really powerful data integration tools. Zapier is the perfect tool to turn to when you're trying to automate your work or create your own step-by-step -step logic. Whale Sync is the go-to for actual data syncing, where you really just wanna marry sets of data across two different apps.